Hey everyone, Kevin Oxner here with your makingme.com and I want to do a tutorial on the relationship feature in XMind. This is part of the Mind Toolbox, which really just means you get it with the XMind free version. Now essentially what the relationship does is it creates lines between two topics on the map. You can see I've got a relationship built here between these two topics, from this one to this one. It's really that simple, but you can modify it and customize it and make it look pretty cool. To create a relationship, it's as simple as choosing the node that you want to have the relationship go from and then choosing the one you want it to have it go through. So let's go ahead and we'll, let's, we'll create a new relationship. We're going to choose one that we want to have it go from. So we'll say this one here, actually we'll say insert relationship. We're going to choose. There are three ways we can open up the dialog box. We can either go to insert and then go down to relationship. We can go and just click on the control L button or we can use the toolbar shortcut and just go ahead and grab that right off the shortcut. So that one is located right here. So we're going to go back to the one we want to have it from. And I'm going to just do one from this and I'll do it to this just to give you an idea of how it's going to work. I'll demonstrate this using the toolbar shortcut, but I would recommend that you learn to use the control L because it's so much faster. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on the link and you can see I now have this nice little thing following my cursor around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just go and click on. You can see it's, they light up as I go through. So I can add these. I can add a relationship to whichever one I want. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. We'll do it to the toolbar shortcut. I'll click on that. And what's going to happen is it's going to give me a relationship straight down. So you can see it's fairly, I'll click off of it here. You can see the arrow goes straight down. If you look carefully, I'll, and it'll become apparent in a couple seconds, there are two little yellow diamonds there. And as I hover over each of the diamonds, I go from the arrow on my cursor, goes from an arrow to little crosshairs or a little T. I'm going to grab one of these, and that just allows me to, to start dragging the, uh, the arrow around. So I've got two ways I can modify the arrow. So if I want to make it into a bit more of a, an oval like I have on the, on the other one, and which I will do, I can drag both of those out and it just takes a little bit of playing around. And there you go. So now I've got a nice new relationship from this one to this one. If you're interested in changing how the line looks, it's actually really, really simple to do. I'm going to head over to my line that I just made. I'm going to click on it, and I'm just going to right-click on this thing. Go down to Properties. I'll wait for the Properties dialog box to open up. You can see there are a number of options we can look at. So let's just have, just have a quick look. If I don't want the dotted line, if I want to try and modify things, it's as simple as me going to, I can see me, I can go to a, a straight line. And let's just try and change the level. Let's just do it a little bit fatter just so it sticks out a little bit more. And why not? We'll change the color. I'll make it nice and bright red. And there we go. Click off of it. And there's my nice new relationship. So there you have it. The relationship function, part of the Mind Toolbox, which you get for free with XMind. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.